how can you control the frequency of Facebook ads? Or is it not possible at all? It is possible. But let's talk about the best frequency for campaign structure. So first we have the top of funnel. Now the top of funnel is really to help you get as many, to reach as many people as possible. So for top of funnel, our benchmark is below two for frequency every seven days. Uh, if you go for 30 days, then of course it might be higher than two, but seven days below two, that's good. Now, when it comes to retargeting, meaning these are the people that are already interested in your business or visited your website and whatnot. So we want to have higher frequency. So let's say if you're targeting people who visited your website in the last seven days, um, our target frequency is three to five because that's where we come in for the money, you see. I know you are here. Now I want to actually convince you. You know, I want to corner you with more ads and, you know, really to convince you to take the next step. So we have a frequency of three to five. Now, how do you control frequency? For top of funnel, the best way to control frequency is to apply audience exclusion. As in like, you may want to push those people who have visited your website out. You know, some may even go by, you know, watch your video to push out. And yeah, some may even go by, I don't know. There are many things that you can do when it comes to a custom audience exclusion. So the whole idea here is we want to push those people who have taken action on the ad out from this particular top of funnel campaign so that the top of funnel campaign can constantly reach more people. But having said that, there are situations where even you apply exclusion, um, the frequency can still be slightly higher than two. But don't kill yourself for that, frankly speaking. Don't really like get too agey about that because as long as the entire campaign framework, as in all the analytics, all the numbers, all the metrics are doing good and you are making profit or you are making sales, you know, and everything is good in the whole campaign, only the frequency is higher, please don't be too obsessed on one single metric. That's what I think, you know, because there are audiences like, for example, there's always a student come back to me and always ask the same question. Jason, how do I bring down my CPM? How do I bring down my CPM? It's meaningless, okay? The importance of understanding the metrics is to know the usage of it and the, you know, the, the benchmark of it and to help you make decision, not to make yourself too obsessed on one thing. So that's one part. So when it comes to the top of funnel, that's how you control the frequency. The best way is to apply exclusion. Now, when it comes to retargeting, um, the best part, the best way to control your frequency is to adjust your budget. So because retargeting audience are always fixed. If you do a seven day retargeting, maybe there's always, or, or, I mean, based on the budget that you are spending, there's always about 100 to 150, for example, and you can't spend a lot. So if the frequency is too high, reduce the budget. If your frequency is too low, increase the budget, as simple as that. But like I say, frequency is just one of the metrics that are important to your business. My next question that I want you to ask yourself here is, if your campaign is working, why is it working? What is working? If you don't find out why, you know, scaling or whatever, you're actually just throwing money blindly because you don't know what is the metric that is doing good and how should you monitor it? Okay, so that's the first key. Now, if you have a campaign that is not working, I also want you to ask yourself why. Because if you do not know what mistake you have made on this campaign itself, how do you avoid making the same mistake in the future? It's going to be the same, you know, all over again. Not working, let's restart. But what? What, had, what changed? It's the same thing. Different creative, but really, was it a creative problem? So the next thing I really want every advertiser to learn after launching a campaign is to analyze your campaign. You want to know what's working, what's not working. How do you understand the metrics? What are the metrics to track? You know, how do you plan optimization plan? So if that's something that you want, scan this QR code, buy me a dinner. First, I will actually build you a dashboard that is truly belong to your business because every business has got different metrics to track. I'll build you a dashboard with a sequence of things and I will help you understand the metrics by analyzing for you with you on the Zoom call itself. So, you know, I would help you make connection between, like, let's say, what's the difference between CTR all and link click? And, you know, how do we make decision based on CTR and CPM combined? You know, how do we know whether we should actually tweak the creative or should we actually test different audience? Or should we actually do different thing on the landing page itself? There are many things that we can actually look into. That's why understanding the metrics is really the key. So know the dashboard, analyzing the campaign. I'll teach you all these things to analyze and, and understand. And I'll build you a plan. That's the last part. Whereby... Based on all the analysis and all that, we know that, oh, I think the creative needs to be changed. So I'll tell you that, look, let's test new creative. Okay, so that's the first step. Now, if it works, then the next thing is probably you want to consider switching a little bit on your, tweaking a little bit on your landing page because it's not getting enough people or, you know, like 
there are lesser people taking action on the next step. There are something that we can actually try to optimize on that part. So that's something that you can do. So yeah, so really, if you run ads, you need to do this, to, do this with me. First, build a dashboard for your business, learn how to analyze and build a plan to take your campaign to the next level. So scan this QR code and I look forward to work with you.